My name is Caleb Dunn, and today we're going to be talking about exogenous versus endogenous pathways for antigen-presenting cells and some of the differences between the two. So an endogenous pathway is an intracellular route that's taken by an antigen that's processed for presentation by an MHC class 1 molecule, which is typically associated with some of the proteins that are generated in the cytosol of the cell, while an exogenous pathway is an intracellular route taken by an antigen that's processed for presentation by an MHC class 2 molecule. So the big difference between the two pathways is that different MHC molecules are presenting the fragments of the antigen with class 1 molecules for endogenous pathways and MHC class 2 molecules for exogenous pathways. So we're going to start by talking about endogenous pathways for antigen presenting cells and endogenous antigens are made inside the cells because of a cell's metabolism or the viral or bacterial infection inside the body may be intracellular. And these types of antigens can be found inside the cytoplasm of a cell where the antigen, let's say, we'll just go ahead and say this is an antigen and it will bind to another protein called ubiquitin. We'll call this ubiquitin. And this will mean that the endogenous antigens, when they bind to ubiquitin, they don't have to go through phagocytosis because the antigens are already inside the cell. And this ubiquitin protein combo will then travel through a complex called the proteasome complex. So travel through the proteasome complex and this will degrade the ubiquitin protein complexes into smaller peptides and this is thought to happen inside the central uh, hollow of the proteasome so once it goes through here it'll become smaller little dots and this will be broken down into peptides. So this particular pathway is used to make peptides for presentation by the MHC class 1 molecules and once the antigen passes through the proteasome and it's broken down into smaller peptides it's going to be transported to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So it'll go toward the rough endoplasmic reticulum and it will go through a group of heterodymic proteins called transporters associated with antigen processing or TAP for short. And these proteins will help transport the peptides into the lumen of the ER so they can bind to MHC class 1 molecules. And in order for an MHC class 1 molecule to be stabilized, it has to have a peptide in the binding groove of the molecule. So this is going to require the use of several molecular chaperones to help with this process. And the first one that is going to attach to this MHC type 1 molecule is called calnexin. And once the two components of the MHC molecule bind together, calnexin is going to be released. And here are the peptides up here once they've entered TAP. And it's going to attach to the MHC type 1 molecule, which has calnexin attached here alongside another uh, another protein called calreticulin. Calreticulin and another protein called called tapicin.
And what Tabison does is it's found in the ER and it's going to bring the TAP transporter into the proximity of the MHC1 molecule so it can associate with the antigenic peptide. And what's bound to the antigenic peptide the MHC molecule can then move to the cell surface via the Golgi complex in order to present the antigen. So it's going to travel through here with the peptide and calnexin bound to it and it will end up in the Golgi complex and once there it will transport to the outside of the cell. And finally it will end up outside the cell membrane. Now in the, exo in the exogenous pathway the antigen presenting cells engulf the material to be presented through phagocytosis or receptor mediated endocytosis. And in the case of receptor mediated endocytosis, the cell will first bind to a specific surface receptor. And when the antigen is brought inside the APC, it'll degrade the antigen into peptides within the endocytic pathway. And once inside the endocytic pathway, it'll bind to an MHC class 2 molecule. So we'll go ahead and draw an MHC class 2 molecule. So when class 2 molecules are synthesized in the rough ER, the alpha and beta chains that will bind together will associate with a protein called the invariant chain. Let's go ahead and draw that. And what this will do is it's going to prevent the MHC class 2 molecule from binding to a peptide that's meant to bind to a class 1 MHC. And once activity in the proteasome increases, the invariant chain will begin to get smaller. So it's going to be traveling through the cell and it's going to reach the Golgi complex. And once it reaches past the Golgi complex, the invariant chain is going to get smaller. And there's going to be a small piece of it left, say it attaches up here, and this is going to be called class 2 associated invariant chain peptide, or CLIP. And like class 1 molecules, in order for the class 2 molecule to remain stabilized, it has to bind to a peptide. But unlike endogenous pathways, exogenous pathways, the antigen is going to be outside the cell. And once inside, it's going to be broken down into smaller peptides. And these peptides are going to meet up with this MHC class 2 molecule that has the piece of clip attached to it. And what this is going to do is the MHC class 2 molecule is going to trade the piece of clip for some of these peptides. So the end result is the MHC molecule expressing the peptide outside of the cell and losing clip in the process. So once the peptide binds to MHC molecule, the complex will then be transported to the plasma membrane. So to sum up the main differences, the exogenous antigens are foreign compounds entered the body from the outside, whereas 
exogenous, whereas endogenous antigens are compounds that are generated inside the body already. And exogenous antigens are actively taken up in the antigen presenting cells, whereas endogenous antigens are already present inside the cytoplasm. And the biggest difference in these antigen processing pathways, endogenous antigens are recognized in association with these MHC class 1 molecules, while exogenous antigens are recognized by MHC class 2 molecules. And those are the differences between exogenous and endogenous pathways in antigen-presenting cells.